Okay, we can start uh, whenever you want. Okay. So, um, what's your <coughs> best memories in your career? Um, I don't know about best. Uh, it, that's a hard question. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, but um, my memories are sometimes. Um, you would think that the big shows would be the memories, but for me, it's the smaller shows. Um, they stand out more for me. I like small clubs. Yeah. Um, it, it makes more sense drumming wise for me than um, whacking or something. It's just too many people, yeah. too crazy. So, I mean, there's so many memories in 20 years that uh, that's a tough question. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, the last album is very rock, no? And uh, how did you work to preserve this spontaneity? The new album, we, um, me and Trevor just, we really do, we did the same thing on the new album like we normally do. We don't try too hard. We stick to what we are good at. We don't, we know that Obituary has a sound and a style and we want to preserve that. So when the fans buy these albums, they know that they're getting a good obituary album. So we really just, the same thing as normal. Me and Trevor in a room, face to face, jamming. And um, that's, how, that's how the album was, was written this time. And um, actually, you're considered to be the, the founding band of this metal. And uh, what are you thinking about the evolution of the current uh, two world more and more melody? I don't listen to much new music. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. There's a lot of good bands and a lot of really good drummers um, that deserve to, uh, to be playing music professionally. But for me, it's there's so much, there's so many that it's hard to always focus on yeah. all these bands. Um, and I don't know, I've always been the creature of habit, which means I still like my old albums, old Van Halen, old Slayer, <laughs> old you know, old Southern Rock way. from Florida. Same with most yeah. of us. We, we you know, I love new stuff. You know, you know, crazy drumming, Lamb of God, Chimera, those type drummers are ridiculous they're you know they're, it's yeah. not that it's they're new but they it that's the new compared to obituary that was the new um level and um they deserve what they what they're doing and they do a good job of it but for me you know I, it's it's just my old my old style I, I still like it and i still like my old music yeah. um uh, you are one of the few bands who doesn't over product the uh, album and to record in live situation. And do you think that's the secret of arbitrary longevity and respect for the fans? Yeah. Um, lots of albums, lots of bands get overproduced. Um, they, the, the albums, they take forever to record them. They fix every little mistake. They make the drums absolutely perfect. They sound replace everything, and um, once again, I'm old school. I I come from um, the time when you would listen to a Led Zeppelin album, and John Bonham. That's him playing. No fixing, no punching in and out. It's just a drummer. You hit record, and he performs the song. And um, I try my best at um, not always one take. Because um, nowadays you can punch in and fix endings of songs or parts you can do better, but um, I don't like sound replacing stuff. I I play loud enough as a drummer and good enough where I'm very happy with my performance on the records, and it's not overproduced. You know, we don't we don't overproduce anything on purpose. And are you always keeping in touch with Alan West? Yeah. Yeah. I talk to him all the time. Okay, and can you give us some uh, news of him? He's, uh, he's got a new band. Yeah. Um, I think it's called South Wicked. Um, he has a, a drummer and I think a bass player that they're writing new music now. In fact, I saw his drummer last night. Yeah. Um, and um, he 
is on his way to Florida to go stay with Alan for uh, four weeks and they're going to write the, the album. Okay. So Alan's still a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, in retrospect, do you think now that you break between uh, my decision there needs to be Charlie to come back more strong. It was a good break. It was a needed break, and I don't think we knew that. The band, we didn't expect to have a break, and we didn't expect it to be seven years or something. But um, it was a it was a very important um, time for the band to just to get away from each other, get away from the music scene, um, and just a refreshing, just a whole refreshing frame of mind to come in and start writing music again and the most important thing is is me and my brother and Trevor are still best friends we always enjoy each other's company and we're always talking on the phone about sports NASCAR and we're, we're just great friends so that's the important the longevity is because we are really still great friends <coughs> Uh, can you tell us about the Tardis, Tardis Brothers? The Tardis Brothers album is um, something that I wrote on guitar. I performed the drums, the guitar, the bass guitar. I played everything on the album. Um, and it's something me and my brother have wanted to do for a long time. I've been playing guitar for 20 years. I've never tried to record anything. I've always had ideas. That's why if you listen to the album, some of it sounds like like metallic like old Metallica yeah. thrash metal because it was my influence when I was a 20 year old. I still had ideas from long back and I'm not a great guitar player, but I can write pretty good songs on guitar with my mind and guitar. And then solos, I had people come in and play play solos like four or five people, different people play solos on the album. It's just something me and John really wanted to do. We own the studio now, yeah. and we can record for free now, so when I'm home, I <laughs> love writing songs and, and recording. I mean, it's there's nothing more fun yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to finish, uh, can you describe the next 20 years for Victoria? Um, if we're healthy, um, we're having a we're having the best time of our lives right now. We're still great friends. We're still really enjoying um, writing songs, and the recording process now is easier than ever. So I can absolutely see us doing many more albums, many more records, songs, tours. As long as we can physically, as long as I can physically still play death metal, at you know, um, in 10 more years or 15 more years, if I can physically do it, we're. Uh, we will definitely keep going. <laughs> so you won't say uh, anything else? You know, obituary.cc <laughs> is the website and my brother updates it all the time. So make sure you check it out and please check out the Tardy Brothers album. Uh, if you're a metal <laughs> fan, I promise you will like it. Um, go buy it. Thank you. So, thanks, yeah, Mel. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks for waiting. I was cool. going to do it. I knew that you guys wanted to do it earlier, yeah. but I was warming up. Well, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem yeah. for us. So, cool. Thank you. Oh!